Hey everybody, my name is Ian and I'm a senior designer here at Engagement Factory and today I'm going to be discussing with you how you can create successful email campaigns. Because many predicted that email wouldn't be a thing anymore in this decade and that was given due to the rapid expansion of social media and with it the marketing channels. However, email still remains on the top position because of its high return on investment that hasn't been beaten yet. So how can we use this channel for all that it's worth? Our answer is in the form of three pillars. The first pillar, the pre-send is about ensuring your campaign succeeds. The second pillar is about the post send, learning how you can adapt and evolve with the insights you gain. And the third pillar is breaking down the silos and improving that overall marketing effectiveness within your company. So let's take a deeper look into these pillars. The first pillar, the pre-send, is about what happens before we actually press that send button. You know, this process normally takes up a lot of time and energy and for 53% of the brands, it actually takes two or more weeks to even produce one single email. So what happens before we can send? Well, it's coming up with a great concept. It is planning the resources, doing some copywriting, getting design in place, development, and a few other tasks to actually send out that email. We divide this pre-send process into seven simple steps. And these steps help you to keep a clear mind and keep errors to a minimum. The first step is planning. What goals do you wish to achieve? What do you want the email to say? How do you want to convey the target audience to take that action that you want them to take? Knowing all of this will help you to identify the sort of email you need to send, the type of message, and it also helps to know what really resonates with your audience. The second step, design. My department. Design and its accessibility is basically a very significant factor for the user's experience. An email that isn't on par with your brand, you know, doesn't resonate as well. It can cause confusion. And the emails you should produce always have to be on par with your brand. That's why we use a templated approach here with an engagement factory. You know, the third and the fourth step we're gonna combine together. And that's basically coding out that email and ensuring it's set up in that platform you use to send an email. Coding and developing an email takes on average 3.8 hours. If you do a templated approach, you can reduce that time greatly. Also, email development has come a long way the last years. And, you know, we don't need to code from scratch anymore. We can use code snippets and reusable code sections, which they call partials. And this allows us to quickly churn out emails without producing any new code. Step five, it's time to test. This is non-negotiable because if you follow the previous steps, it should in most cases be a breeze. Most inbox service providers, that's the platform used to receive the email, you know, they change or update on a regular basis, meaning they will not inform you. You not checking your email could lead to a broken email and that again leads to unsatisfied customers or a broken brand experience, which also can lead to a lot of questions. And finally, it is your review and approval stage. You've worked hard to design the perfect email. You've coded it. Well, it's time to do a review because email mistakes fade into the background when you're working or looking at that same email all day. So get a fresh pair of eyes and have it checked. That concludes the first pillar. So time for the second pillar, the post send, ensuring you use that insight to further inform your company. You've optimized your campaign pre-send process. You've sent hopefully that flawless email campaign. Now what should you do? Analyzing the results of your campaign will help you to learn how you can effectively adjust your next campaign. And this also happens to be an area where a lot of teams don't spend enough time. They don't spend enough time on post-send analytics. So decide what you are looking for. Now, in order to drive action with your target audience, you need to understand them. You need to know what resonates with them. So start by deciding what you need to look for and take some time. I mean, look back and reflect on past campaigns. What worked, what didn't work? How were the conversion numbers? Just looking at metrics isn't the way to add value on its own. Within your team or within your organization, there are multiple teams and each team might have their own set of questions that they need an answer to. So a good first place to start is basically indexing all those questions, which allows you to allocate some gaps within your strategy or the gray areas that they need answers to. Then you can go sift through those data numbers and really see if you can find those answers. Also getting the right tools for the job, very important because not all email service providers, the platform you use to send the email, enable you to get all the necessary insights. 
you know, some might be able to provide you open rates, click through rates, but there are some deeper numbers that you might need, which the tool can't provide. So ensure you have the right tool or integration with the tool that allows you to get all the metrics you need to actually answer the questions you indexed before. And finally, ensure you pick a usable format for those insights. We need to translate those insights into strategy. That way we can basically provide a lot of insights for the entire marketing program and not just email on its own. For an example, your recent emails have showed low conversion. Well, that could spark a win-back campaign with a greater incentive for all of these contacts. That campaign could run throughout multiple channels. Which also brings us to the third pillar, and that's basically breaking down the silos within your company. The last part of a successful email campaign goes beyond email. Sharing is caring, as they also say. Because in order to improve that overall marketing effectiveness within your company, it's good to get people talking. So email can inform another department, while it can also happen vice versa. And keep in mind, most customers, they also perceive our marketing mix as one. I mean, they don't analyze social apart from email. What they really want is one universal message coming from your company. So ensure that everything is cohesive and that that experience is also actionable. Now, this whole pillar system isn't meant to double the workload. It will normally effectively reduce the workload because everybody can work a lot more effective and efficiently. What happens is that as soon as people start to share, they learn, which means it takes time away from learning that same lesson the hard way. And it allows you to refocus. Now, I know all of these steps that we talked about might feel overwhelming and a new system and business ideology can seem daunting at times, but keep in mind, the benefits at the end really outweigh the time it takes to get started. So basically that was it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this piece of content. Don't forget to download the guide, which goes a bit more in depth on everything that I talked about. And we also added in a bonus, which is our campaign briefing template. So, you know, get everybody aligned. Click the link in the description below. And I want to thank you for watching and I wish you good luck with your email campaigns. This was Ian for Engagement Factory. See you next time.